So earbuds are just so competitive these days. And I have a list of what I think a new pair of earbuds would really need to have in order to stand out. And it can't just be battery life or wireless charging. These are all really baked in. So there's really three things that I think new earbuds need to have. First of all, you need to cover the basics. Exceptional sound, ANC comfort, and microphones. They're all subjective, but that's really just the baseline. The second thing, especially in 2023, is you need to have multi-point connectivity. So many earbuds don't have that. It's such an obvious feature that really quantumly improves your experience. And the third one is rare features like posture control, built-in white noise, spatial audio for Android, different things like that. And well, of those three things, the new OnePlus Buds Pro 2 they're here to play. They actually check all of those boxes. And so in this video, we're gonna dive into what these earbuds are and really put them to the test. But before we get into this video, these Buds Pro 2 were just launched today. And I've been using them for about two weeks now. So I wanted to thank OnePlus for sending these over early and for sponsoring this video. Let's start off with the physical design, of course. Looking at these, there are two different colors. This is obsidian black. There's also arbor green. And it's a pretty basic plastic case, has wireless charging on the bottom, USB Type-C charging on the back, a button on the inside for pairing, an LED indicator on the front, and it flips open and closed, sits upright like you'd like, and the magnet on the inside is actually pretty, pretty strong. Like you're not, if unless you drop these, you're really not gonna be losing the earbuds on the inside. But, but speaking of the earbuds inside, these have a very familiar design. You can see that it's something that is tried and true, to, the stem design that a lot of people like, but these are uh, obviously black and they have kind of a, kind of glossy, but kind of muted glossy black metal look on the bottom. So I actually really like the look of the stem. They fit very comfortably. They stay in my ears really well, which is saying something, because for me, my left ear, earbuds always fall out. So these staying in while I talk, while I chew, like any kind of jaw movement doesn't seem to uh, cause any issues there. And so comfort, great. Security, also great. Despite not having a wingtip, the general geometry seems to grab the inside of my ear really well, but everyone's ears are different, of course, so I can't guarantee they're a great fit on you, but for me, they're comfortable and, and they fit pretty well. Of course, there are different silicone ear tips, so they could fit larger or smaller ears as needed. On the inside, you'll see we have our proximity sensor for auto pause when we take this out of our ears. And much like the design might suggest, um, these also have a similar control to the AirPods as well. So rather than having capacitive touch sensors like a lot of other earbuds do have, these have the pinch the force sensor on there, which actually works out really well when you're doing a workout or if your hands are wet, other situations where capacitive touch might not work, but pinching would be a lot better. And as far as controls go, you can play pause, you can skip forward or back, you can toggle ANC on or off, or you can press and hold this for three seconds to get Zen mode. Now, I mentioned that these have a lot of unique features on them. We'll talk about Zen mode a little bit later, uh, but otherwise you can customize the controls within the app to toggle between game mode uh, or enable the voice assistant as well. One thing that they don't have, however, is volume controls. It was the only thing that I noticed that I wish these did have in the controls. They do also have, this is kind of a subtle one, they have an excellent feedback sound, in my opinion. When you put them in your ears, uh, or when you, you know, press it, when you double press it, it makes this gentle little click just to let you know that it registered uh, your pinch, and it feels really natural. It feels like it was an actual, like, subtle click there. They're also IP55 water resistant, so they should be just fine for working out, no matter how sweaty you get. And getting into some of those features, like I said, they have auto pause, but really the best way to demonstrate these features is probably to go through the app. So I'm gonna be using the OnePlus 11 right here. It really is the best way to use these earbuds, but they are compatible with other Android phones and iPhones as well. If I go into Bluetooth settings, we can tap on the earbuds. We can go down to earbud functions. And from here you can see, it's gonna tell us the battery level. It's gonna let us change the noise control uh, between transparency. They do also have personalized active noise cancellation. I'll talk more about that in the ANC section of this video. Uh, we can enable high res mode. I'll talk more about that in the sound portion of this video. Um, but going down here, Zen Mode Air, that's a really cool feature, like I was saying, where you do have white noises on the earbuds. There's about five different ones to choose from, and they're actually downloaded, so they're local on the earbuds. So even when your phone is not around, you can press and hold that for three seconds. It'll turn that on, and they're just like a nice little soundscape for when you're working. If you want to block out sounds, like I know a lot of people that just use active noise cancellation on earbuds and don't even play music when they're working, and this takes it a step further, blocking even more sound with the ANC plus that white noise on top. Going down, we have camera related settings. This is a cool feature, so you can use these to actually take a photo as a remote shutter for your phone. 
We have an earbud fit test. We have dual connection. Remember, this is number two out of those three things I said these earbuds really needed to have to be competitive. Multi-point connectivity is absolutely huge. I love having that connecting to a phone and a laptop simultaneously. Just throughout the workday, it's just so nice to have, especially if you're getting phone calls and going back to watching YouTube or whatever you're doing on your computer. Now the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 also have multi-dimensional soundscape with spatial audio under Android 13. Now they can do this because of the six axis IMU and the OnePlus algorithm that they made themselves, which allow you to have essentially a center stage with, with three dimensional audio that gives you essentially a surround sound that you'd otherwise experience in maybe a cinema, for example. Now to take full advantage of this feature, it's really best to use a OnePlus phone. So the OnePlus 11 uh, is the one that I've been using for this and it does work really well. You can see right there, spatial audio. Uh, so you're able to have it fixed or with head tracking. Personally, I don't ever really use spatial audio a lot, but I know so many people love this for uh, movies or media or music or you know many different situations. It can be really nice to have. Of course, we have Find My Earbuds and we have, as I said, a fit test, but quite a bit of features in the app here. But they have another great feature that you don't actually see in here yet because it's not rolled out. It's coming later in 2023. And this uses the IMU sensors in the earbuds to track your posture and your activity. So much like we saw on Samsung's Galaxy Buds, if you have bad posture, if you're looking down too much, it could notify you. Honestly, it's a feature that I loved seeing in those earbuds and I'm really excited to see roll out to these. So to talk about the sound quality, we first need to start off with the connection. So these have Bluetooth 5.3 and they have some pretty nice codecs on here, including LHDC 4.0, which is a really high resolution uh, audio codec, which for Bluetooth earbuds, I love seeing that. There's also Audio ID 2.0, which is uh, OnePlus's way of essentially optimizing this for your own hearing. There's a hearing test where you have little sliders. And in the past, I've done these hearing tests and like I can always hear even the lowest level. This one really gets quiet. So I think it's actually a pretty good test here. Um, I think they call it golden sound on the phone as well. So they can play in your ears and optimize based on that. There's a lot of optimizing as well as a custom EQ. But the sound quality itself, it really comes down to the EQ. And I was impressed by how well the EQ actually performed. So originally I thought that bold would be fun. I thought that'd be a good sound. So I tried bold. Turns out it's a little bit too brilliant. I found that instead I, a subtle drop in the highs and a lift in the bass really gives you a nice balance on these. And I was impressed with that. The default EQ can be a little bit aggressive. The hi-hats are a little bit sibilant and overpowering. Uh, but once you do that EQ adjustment, like I said, a subtle lift in the bass to give it a warmer tone and a subtle drop in the highs just to kind of tone dial back um, those hi-hats, you really get a natural thumpy bass that's both accurate and pleasant. It's not too weak, it's not too overpowering, um, and of course that doesn't mask or, or really overshadow a lot of the other instruments in the song. So I found that, like I said, that balance really helps a lot. But if you are somebody that's looking for a skull-shaking bass and you're not like looking for a nice natural sound profile, these aren't gonna be for you, which I think is no surprise. Uh, these sound much more natural. The bass is actually less forward than a lot of other Bluetooth earbuds, which means they're definitely not muddy. The bass never masks or eclipses other higher frequencies. And you get a really nice clean forward mids and vocals that really, it sounds nice. But you wanna make sure that if you're listening to these and you want that high resolution, don't forget to go into the app and enable high res mode. Originally I was listening to these, I, I thought I had the best codecs on, but I, I was like, why, what am I missing? I'm missing some detail, but I actually didn't go in. And once you enable that, again, clear and detailed vocals, plenty of warmth once you do that little EQ boost down there, because the bass, like I said, is very capable, just not quite overpowering. These earbuds also have Melody Boost dual drivers, which were co-created with Dyn Audio. This helps the OnePlus Buds 2 offer a clear, dynamic, and natural sound, courtesy of the Melody Boost dual drivers. Now the dual drivers included an 11 millimeter and a six millimeter driver that, like I said, were co-designed with Dyn Audio. So that explains the bass and the detail that I was talking about. So now let's actually get into a microphone test, starting off indoors in a studio environment. This is what it sounds like if I were talking in here, if I was on a phone call, it would sound something like this. Um, so leave a comment below and let me know how you, what, what you think of the audio quality of the microphones. But now, head outside. Now just for reference, this is what it sounds like when I don't have the earbuds in. Clearly, it is really loud alongside this road. All right, so here's an audio test with some wet roads. I'm outside, obviously, so it's really loud out here. So this will be the ultimate test. If you can hear what I'm saying clearly here, then honestly, you'd be hearing me anywhere. But leave a comment and let me know how this sounds to you. 
So the active noise cancellation, the best way to really communicate this is through my testing results. Of course, there are a lot of different aspects to ANC from higher frequencies to lower frequencies and, and things like that. But just showing on the screen right now, these are my results from my standard test of just playing a basic white noise at a set distance away and identifying at which volume I could hear the, uh, the sound through the earbuds, which are trying to block them. Now, these do have different levels of ANC as well as adaptive ANC to really optimize your battery. And they have personalized ANC as well, which allows you to go through a short test on the app uh, and then personalize it to your ear canals. Now, the adaptive noise cancellation on here is claimed to go up to 48 decibels, which means you should be able to block out a lot of sounds around you or a decent amount if you're on a plane or on a train or other of those like droning noises that are otherwise very loud. 48 decibels is a pretty sizable amount to reduce. And a lot of times claims from companies can make me skeptical, but from my own testing, I was able to block out up to 47.4 decibels. So that was pretty much almost exactly 48 decibels. I was very impressed with that. They also have a transparency mode, which is definitely a little bit more on the subtle side. It's not super robotic. It more so sounds like you just have less of an earbud in your ear. So things are still a little bit muted, but you can hear everything around you reasonably well, which should get the job done if you're on a train and you wanna hear like your next stop or something like that. And of course, we need to talk about compatibility. So on OnePlus, you don't actually need to get any separate apps. It's all going to be in their settings. But if you have any other Android, so for example, the Pixel 7 Pro, you need to get the Hey Melody app, uh, which allows you to customize really all those settings I showed you. They also have Google Fast Pair, which allows them to pair, you know, fast, obviously, with any Google-related phone, so Android phones. But of course, these are Bluetooth earbuds, so you can use them with iPhones as well. So that's it for the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think about these new earbuds as well as what you would like me to compare these to. Of course, there's a lot of great earbuds out there and I'd be more than happy to dive in and compare the active noise cancellation, the sound, the microphones, everything to any other pair of earbuds. Leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. I'm Michael Bryan. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. So thanks again to OnePlus for sponsoring this video. If you wanna know more about their latest products, be sure to follow the links in the description to follow them on social media and see when they launch new things.